back. I am still here. As you can see behind me, I've got most of the dock all finished, and that's what it looks like now. I did, remember last time I was talking about the borders and how jumbled up, and um, this does look a bit different. So I ran my uh, merge program, uh, MC Merge, I think it's called. I was telling you about you take, um, you scan your world before you do your update, then you join it, you create some new borders, and then you run it again and it smooths all those borders out. Well, last time, got a little path up here. So I noticed, if you remember right, uh, this was all quite drastic. This was a higher hill, and there's, there was a real sharp, sharp cutoff wall over here. And it's all gone. That's because I forgot it only merges the borders after the chunks have been generated. And I hadn't been up here to generate chunks. I guess the chunk border would be... And just notice I lost. Oh, it's going to get dark. Let me... Um, let me hop in bed real quick. That way I'm not dodging skeletons and stuff while I'm trying to explain this to you. Okay, du, 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 du. off to sleep, and a wakey, wakey, wakey we are. As I was saying, the chunk border runs right here, which we saw when we first came up, or first got here. Had this wall of dirt, which I had manually smoothed out a bit, but this really it kind of tapers the edge on either side and I didn't realize it was going to taper it so much it actually tapered it right to here so I lost uh, all my fence and actually uh, I lost uh, some of the decoration on the side of the house luckily for me the, it didn't taper it any further I would have actually lost my chest and stuff uh, but it cleared up that. Didn't do those, I don't think. Good. Good. But as you see, it's got a nice, uh, kind of smooths it out real nice. It puts a river in between the two biomes. That way, uh, kind of make a natural border. And I don't use any mods in this world except for Optifine. And then I use something like this just to, because I don't want to have to start a new world over. And I don't have to worry, don't have to want to worry about these butt ugly chunk borders. So I am willing to run little programs like this. I don't, I don't want to do it by hand. It's a pain. It would have been a pain to smooth it by hand, but all I do is just run this merge and it just goes through here and puts a river right between all the way through so this was a giant cliff I think I have a photo I can a screenshot I can show you of that um, as you're looking at that um, you had that sharp cliff there and now it's gone so that is what that merge program does. So if you ever, if you have a long time world that you're using and you end up with these ugly barriers, if you have an old copy, I have a, a simple Windows, uh, it's a batch for a program that just backs up and zips uh, my world every time I boot up my computer or when I want to run the script. It just backs it up, zips it to a file, and sticks it into a, what, my second hard drive for archival purposes. So if you can go back and get a pre, like, when you get your last 1.8 version, uh, you can run it on that to map out the borders that you had when you were last in 1.8, and then when you moved over to 1.9, I think it was 0.8 to 0.9, that I ran into a lot of border issues, but you can do it for any version you want where they did biome changes. So you get that old map, maps out the borders, and then you get the brand, you know, copy a couple of files over, run your new, uh, on your new world, 
run run the merge program in the new world and it'll just trace over those pre borders it marked out on the chunks and create rivers for you and smooth it out so that is how I'm cleaning up my mess and I did a little mining so I'm gonna go down and show you this and actually I'm gonna show you I did go all the way to, there's a bunch of caves all through here so I got kind of a, and no it didn't start out like this but I uh, there's something special at the end of this tunnel as I've been uh, I need to finish this up I thought this would be a nice lighting tunnel thing I'm gonna put some rails down here leave a couple episodes ago. I was complaining because I don't have a XP uh, generator around here. And I happened to come across the mine shaft. And in that mine shaft was this. If you can see it's a tiny little zombie spawner. Well not tiny little zombie spawner. Doesn't spawn tiny zombies but but this is how I found it. No chests, no nothing, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping there'd be chests, but it was wide open like this. All I did is put the put the uh, torches down. But I can use this to generate an XP farm, which is I, I need on this side of the world because I don't. The uh, nearest one I have is actually at spawn with my skeleton spawner. I don't think I've. The only other spawners I found were some cave spiders, and those are a pain to uh, use as XP farms. But I, uh, I haven't actually explored any of this uh, mine yet, so I think we'll do that today. Or actually, I may finish this tunnel up today. And then go, I did a little, I just did some lighting to keep, uh, oop, keep certain people away. Oh, one shot. I did some light, ooh, I think I see a skeleton. I saw someone running, yeah, a skeleton. Oh, I thought those were chests down there, but it's just fence posts. I hate these. Oh. There's spiders, too. I want to light this up a bit, and then we'll go exploring. See if we can find anything good. Oh, that's a oh, weird lighting glitch. And also, a oh, big episode here, I, uh, Optifine for 110 came out, so we are now running on 1.10.2. This is known, let me look at the notes, the Frostburn update. So I haven't had a chance to look for any stuff, but... It has uh, a polar bear. Oops, where'd I go? Oh, don't want to go there. Uh, yeah, they added polar bears, a couple more monsters. Um, what else? It's structure blocks. I'm not quite sure. I don't do any structure block stuff. That's like for map making, I think. You can pre-program a like a house or village or whatever, and then you can just import it in, click a button, or activate it with redstone, and it builds the house for you. And then um, got fossils, which I don't. I guess underground bones. So we may run across some of those because we should be in a new area pretty soon. Uh, it also has got magma blocks and nether wart blocks and nether wart bricks. And then some giant mushrooms, some more trees, and some mine shafts and mesa biomes. Unfortunately, 
I've already generated my mesa biome, so I'd have to find a new one. Uh, and then new villages. So uh, they based on where they are, because they got they'll have them like in the forest and the desert. They'll have different villages based on each one of those. And this also. Let's see. No, no. The last one. I think one nine's the one that did the end updates, but. I haven't gotten to the end yet, so I can't even use any of that stuff. Maybe that'll be one of these days. I will make a I'll start a mission to go to the end. So we got plenty of rail. Yeah, so the final is just going to cap it off here. So it's kind of ugly behind there. You can see dirt and stuff, and different rocks. There. Now you can see some of it behind there. I think that'll be okay. The lava would hide everything behind it, but it doesn't. Oh, that's not good. There, that won't be too bad. Then I will just. Uh, Some redstone. Redstone and redstone torches. I just make oh, I can make torches. Just make a handful of those. This should help gather, uh, get some XP, because I was trying to enchant some tools, and I had to go pig harvesting and cow harvesting to get enough XP to actually do anything useful, so this will help out quite a bit. So I will build a zombie XP farm. I'll be using the old, uh, oh, it's been a while since I built one, but an elevator to take them up 23 blocks and then drop them on their heads. And then we may actually spend some time looking around later on. I want to see some of these new biome things. And now that we're in 110, I definitely will do what I came over to do. Actually, a long, long time ago was put a nether portal from here and then link it back to the main nether hub. Really, what I've been waiting for, since I knew they were doing nether updates in this, adding nether blocks and stuff. I've really been waiting for this update before I you know, um, 
went to the nether because this should generate some new land or, that I have not explored in the nether so I should be able to find some of these magma blocks and that kind of stuff ah dang it I don't have a cart oh well I'm here Come on, if I could place a block, I'd be happy. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to be for the next version to come out. 110, 111. But it looks like I've got things laid out planned for a while now enough to keep me busy let's get some more of these there we go let's finish this a baby zombie could spawn. I think I left one There's square up there. One empty block. Don't believe I think actually this episode is going to be the train track episode here. The zombie spawner rail track. Let's see. It's got that. I need these. One, two. You know, I'm not actually calculating distance here for efficiency or organization or anything. zombies that was what I was putting up with they are since not only did I find a mine shaft I found a ravine and a zombie spawner so you can hear them it was quite the adventure to say the least holy cow I almost jumped down there. Let's do that. That's uh why am I being careful? like trying to find the perfect spot to get her get a block there don't need the perfect spot I just need a block yeah, that goes there there that should do it right there okay so now we have rapid transit system Okay, and those seem to be space falling apart. I may have 
eventually. Let me actually run it all the way up there. Not sure how I would do that. And I wouldn't have to come down the stairs. But if I wanted to get down here... Well, that's not so bad going up and down the stairs. Let's get rid of it. Kind of, kind of spacing it a little bit. Here we go. Some more of that. What else do I got? Junk. Get rid of this. This. Keep that stick. I don't need those. Don't need the cobble. Let's finish the cell. Oh, redstone torches. Don't need those. So other than me rambling a bit and uh, doing a bit of work on this and showing you what I've already done, uh, uh, I guess I guess it could be a productive episode. It's not. Didn't get a huge list of things done, but I think I've set the foundation for the next bunch of episodes. So we're going to we are going to finish this up today. So this episode is this is uh, got this job done. Leave this is all done. I'll leave this open because it helps if I get stuck out there. I can get back in here. I don't think the zombies can, are smart enough to figure that out. As you catch me in the next episode being eaten by a zombie. Um, oh, look at that. So that is suspended. So these suspended particles. I guess they're waiting for a block update before they fall down. You now have this little... I'm going to fall down... No, it's not doing it. Particles effect. See those little particles? That gives you a warning, kind of like lava dripping, that something could fall on your head. I don't know if you just put a block update while they fall down. Like that. Oh, look at that. Of course, not trap myself. That was cool. Glad I got to see that. Okay, so this leads back into more mine, uh, more caves and a ravine. And actually, this is, I was doing cave exploring and came across the mine shaft, and that's all I saw. I was able to trace back to, and it came out right here, oh, with a bunch of zombies. So I think, next episode, I'll uh, go digging through this uh, mine shaft some more and see what we can find a little exploring and if we have time uh, start on the zombie spawner and that should do it uh, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later with a little more cave exploring or hopefully I can find some good stuff bye bye I need some torches